Hey there, cats and kitties. I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and this is Friday Night Rocks. For this particular week, we're going three for the week. Starting us off, we have Barry Mann's Who Put the Bomb. This is a really awesome doo type of track, and I think I actually first heard it as uh, the Shanana cover um, of the song, and I just always really loved it. You know, uh, my parents grew up in the 50s and 60s, so a lot of that sort of oldies, you know, I mean, oldies nowadays even uh, consists of the 70s and 80s as well, and even some of the 90s. Um, which is really weird, but um, that 50s, 60s era doo-wop and pop, you know, uh, types of music, jazz, blues, all that kind of stuff has always resonated really deeply with me. And this is one of the first doo-wop songs that I ever heard and just really dug. So following that, we have the Isley Brothers Shout, a classic, classic track. It always, you know, embodies to my mind that scene from the John Belushi classic Animal House. And, um, you know, I mean, that was an exuberant sort of comedy movie and this is really an exuberant song I mean it really just pumps you up and uh, following that we actually have the Who's Eminence Front this is a song that I first encountered in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas the game and uh, on their sort of myriad of fake radio stations on the uh, hard rock station this actually plays and it's just a really awesome track I mean I envision just driving down highway at night you know the lights of the city off in the distance uh, you know, signs on the roadsides and everything lit up, and just a really cool track. Uh, just get you mellow and grooving, you know. So that actually does it for the three tracks for the week. Following that, we have the Random Factoid, and uh, this has been around on the internet a little bit in the last couple of weeks. But um, in 1992, plans were all set and awaiting final approval from Paramount for a uh, life-size USS Enterprise from Star Trek to be built on the Las Vegas Strip. Um, this all came down to a no from a Paramount exec head uh, by the name of Stanley Jaffe, and he basically compared it to, you know, movies coming out. If a movie flopped, uh, they would garner some bad press for a couple of weeks, but eventually it would fade away. And uh, comparing that to building a life-size, the motion picture version of Enterprise in the middle of Vegas, well, that wouldn't go away so easily if they didn't make their money back. And Wow, <laughs> what a what a poor decision that was. I mean, we could have had a humongous, uh, you know, life-size Enterprise with all the trimmings, all the references to Star Trek, rather than Star Trek the the experience, which was in Vegas. Um, we're talking about a a huge hulking thing that would have been as uh, you know long as the Eiffel Tower is tall, per the article, which actually comes from io9. I'm going to link that below with the music tracks, and. Um, you know, that's just incredible. I mean, look at what we missed. But, um, yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the week. If you have a uh, random factoid you'd like to submit in the comments below, perchance next week it'll actually be read by me and you'll get credit for it. And uh, otherwise, that'll pretty much do it for this week's Friday Night Rocks. So I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.